name is James. Let me just tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 43 years old. I live in South Florida. I used to be a sheriff deputy for Central Florida. Uh, one of the most rewarding jobs that I've ever had. Um, I actually got into law enforcement not to just put, out, put away the bad guy, but I actually, the reason why I got into law enforcement was to actually help people. Um, to get out there and, and try to make a difference, change people's lives. That's the reason why I got into law enforcement. Um, I've always wanted to be on the SWAT team. Um, unfortunately, unless there's a position open, you, you just can't get in there, you gotta wait for a position. Uh, so I had a lot of friends uh, on the SWAT team. I ended up hanging out with them and did a lot of training with them, uh, learned a lot of their techniques. Uh, some of my hobbies, uh, I love playing chess. Uh, I think it's one of the best games to uh, keep your mind fresh with new strategies. Um, if, if anyone that plays chess, you know, if you one wrong move and that's it. So there's always that one right move that you have to do, kind of like in life. Um, I love playing golf. That's another challenging game. Uh, everyone thinks it's easy to hit a little white ball and get it in there. It's not. Uh, it's fun. Um, I love scuba diving. Uh, there's nothing like uh, going out there and exploring the ocean and, and seeing a lot of different, you know, things from colorful fish to uh, wrecks. And uh, so I actually hold the uh, uh, rescue diver uh, with Patty. Uh, my main passion, I've always wanted to fly ever since I was little. And I uh, always wanted to get in to be a, uh, a helicopter pilot. But of course, that's way too much money for what I was into. So I said, well, let me look at fixed wing. Same thing, about two years. And even after you get the license, you gotta either buy your plane, rent the plane, then you got the fuel. So that gets a little costly there too. So I came across uh, powered paragliding, which is you just strap a motor to your back. Um, you got, it looks like a parachute. It's a paraglider above your head. And it's the easiest and safest form of flying. Um, you can pack it up, put it in your car, drive around, you see something, jump out, put it together. It takes uh, about five minutes, to put everything together and start it up and, uh, and off you go. So you can take off just about anywhere um, as long as you're not in restricted air spaces uh, such as cities or residential areas. A lot of people take off on the beach. So, and once you're up there, you're flying, it's, uh, it's relaxing. Uh, you can actually turn your motor off and just soar and just glide. And it's uh, like being a bird, being free. And um, so I advise everybody to look into power paragliding if you wanna be a pilot. And anyway, that's just a little bit about myself. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, why did I join a militia? Well, first of all, I feel every citizen of the United States has an obligation to do their part in helping defend and uphold the Constitution and the amendments against tyranny, uh, domestic and foreign. Now, I see and I hear and I read on the computer, on the Internet, from a lot of people that, that preach what needs to be done, but they just don't want to get involved, you know. And I call those people the keyboard commandos. Um, so what we really need is everyone to get involved and, and do your part and, uh, you know, for this great country. And that's basically one of the reasons why I joined the, the militia, is to do my part and get out there and, and do whatever needs to be done to uh, defend this country. Let me just throw in there of why I think others should join. You know, at the beginning of this great country, we didn't have a standing army. What we did have was farmers, businessmen, dedicated people that wanted to make a difference, and they were called the militia. And with them, we won our freedom. Now, everyone should join to continue what our forefathers have started. There is no reason any loyal citizen to the United States of America would not want to continue our forefathers' legacy to uphold the Constitution and the amendments of this great country. You know, our meetings here at the Florida Militia are usually one day a month for about four hours. There's no reason anyone should not be able to donate four hours a month of their time to learn, train, and do their part for this great country.
All right, now I'd just like to talk a little bit about my personal preference on my loadout equipment. Here I have the Condor Recon chest rig. It, it holds six, I, for me, I got six magazines in here. You can put two more on the side. Holds uh, two, uh, I'm sorry, six full 30 round magazines. And the front, I can carry four uh, pistol magazines or six if I choose. In the middle one, you can put two more magazines if you, will, if you want. I carry a flashlight and a knife just for quick uh, access if I need to get to one. Um, on the right side, I've got a small survival kit. Uh, in case you're out there or I get, I'm out there and I get stuck out there, um, I do, I have a, a, a flashlight uh, with a, uh, uh, a flash, um, a beacon. I got a fire starter, I got fishing line, I got everything I need in there to uh, stay out there for survival. This is a Condor pack as well. On the left side, I've actually got the Condor Rip Away Medic Pouch trauma kit and that's what I like about a rip away if I have to uh, just rip it off and give it to somebody or throw it to somebody I can do that but inside it folds out three and I got everything in there from my gloves my shears uh, anything I need out there uh, for a trauma kit uh, blood clot everything that I need and that's the condor rip away medic pouch on the back of my vest I've got the Condor hydration pouch. When you're out there and you're thirsty, you have something to drink. Uh, my shirt is actually the Cry Precision G3 battle shirt, uh, combat shirt, and I'm wearing the True Spec uh, multicam vest. My pants are also the Cry Precision. Uh, G3 pants, got multiple pockets everywhere, so if you need to store anything, uh, room for knee pads. On my right side, I do have a knife, which is actually a uh, bayonet, but I use it for if I have to chop wood or anything like that. This is the Colt CT415 full tang blade. It is heavy, very sharp, so if I have to have to get out there chop some wood or something like that, that's where that'll go. On my left side, my secondary weapon, my weapon of choice is the Glock 17, and I have the Latex 511 uh, thigh rig. And the good thing about this holster, it does have a thumb drive. Let me show you all out there. No ammo, and the weapon is clear. On the 511, it does have a thumb drive. You just push this to release your weapon. We talked a little bit about my Glock. This is the Glock 17. Um, I did the stippling myself. I went with the new slide. I do have the Trigicon RMR uh, green dot sight. It uh, no batteries, uses gas, and uses uh, the oh, what is it? The titanium gas that glows at night, uh, up to 25 years, and it uses during the day. It uses the fiber optics. Uh, <clears throat> and you have the pyramid trigger. So that's my secondary weapon right there. My primary weapon is actually my Stag Arms uh, Model 3L for left-handed. I am a lefty, if you couldn't tell. Uh, this one here, I have all Magpul furniture. I have the Magpul rubber-coated grip. I have the Geisley S3 trigger in it, uh, S3G trigger in it. The Magpul trigger guard, badass amidextrous selector I have the Norgon uh, amidextrous mag release which is good so if I can I can still take the magazine on both sides mag pull butt stock with the enhanced uh, butt pad on the front I do have an apex hand guard free float uh, good thing about this apex if you're looking to get a free float get this one here because all you have to do is cut your delta ring off these clamshell clamps on you bolt it on, you line it up, and you're good to go. I do have some accessory rails. I do have a Streamlight TLR-1S, which has the strobe. The light goes on here. I have my uh, sling attachment, if I want to go to two-point here. 
and I do have the mag pull on the back, which I usually carry in uh, single point mode. On the front, I do have the Battle Comp 2.0. Uh, that's what keeps your barrel from jumping all around. It stays on target. To the front, I have on the, my sights, I have the EOTech EXPS 2-0 and followed by the EOTech G33 magnifier. My choice for a charging handle is the Raptor ambidextrous charging handle, which again, that's great if you're transitioning your weapon from left to right, you can charge your handle either direction. And I do have a titanium forward assist. And that's my, my weapon of choice right there. And my loadout here. Thanks for watching. Um, there's a place for everybody in the Florida militia. Uh, you just, even if you don't have a firearm, you know, there's a spot for you. You know, we have communication personnel, we have intel personnel, uh, we have medics. So I, whatever you feel your talent or skill is, you know, you think that you could bring it to the Florida militia, that's what it is. So take a look at the Florida militia. Um, there's definitely a spot there for you.